Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here at Suit Cafe, SuitCafe.com. That's right, my name is Phil Pravda, founder and CEO of uh, Suit Cafe. And hopefully you've been able to watch my videos. A lot of you have commented on many of my videos that I have about how to fold a jacket for your luggage, how to fold a shirt for your luggage, how to do these things without any wrinkles when you get to your destination. So please watch those prior videos. They're really helpful for a lot of people. Uh, over these past few years that I've made those uh, videos. And of course, some of my newer videos on the new clothing and new things coming in. And here, we're going to talk about the new fall collection. What is arriving new for fall? We're hurriedly working on our new website for fall. Every season, we change the entire website. We don't save anything from the old website because every season has its own look, its own feel, its own color scheme, and its own designs. So I want to give you a quick preview of the new tie collection, part of it that's come in, for the fall season. And for those of you who know me, you know I've been wearing glasses in all my prior videos, and now look, no more glasses. So if you wanna know what happened, I'll tell you. I had cataracts in both eyes. So at the end of May, I had surgery on the right eye. At the beginning of June, I had surgery on the left eye with uh, intraocular implants, and now no more glasses. That's right, I've been wearing glasses since I was 10, and now I have 20-20 vision, and I don't need glasses anymore, except for reading very small fine print, but I can still read my phone without the glasses, which I think is pretty good. So if you don't like me uh, without the glasses, <clears throat> leave a comment, but I'm not wearing them anymore anyhow, too bad. Anyway, let's get right to it. I wanna show you the new tie collection because we've got some great, great colors, some great patterns, and that's really what this video is about. So let's start off with what we call the Fantasy Geometrics or Fantasia. And here I'm wearing one right now, the beautiful pink with the uh, sky royal blue. I'm gonna show it to you here up close. This is in what's called the silk twill. And here's that tie right here. I'll give you a little close up shot of it. Hopefully you can see it okay in the light right there. That's the uh, pink Fantasia with the light blue circles. And this tie also has a relative or a sister tie. So you can have an option of coloration. And I'll show that to you right here. This is in sort of like the, uh, the sea green and also the blue. So you have the sea green circles and the blue, another beautiful, I mean, really beautiful uh, color combination. What could you wear this with? Beautiful with navy blue suit or a beautiful charcoal gray. And since we're going into fall or winter, you might have a flannel suit. You can wear this with beautiful gray flannel with a light blue pocket square or a green pocket square. And uh, same with this one as well. Navy, even a tan or a camel color if you're in a warmer climate, even in the fall, winter seasons. A lot of people live in warm climates all year round, so you can wear these, uh, these colors right here. Another two we're gonna show you now, I'll put those down right here. Also in the geometric fantasy um, collection are the heavier woven silks. So these are heavier ties, woven silk, and they have uh, sort of like a little texture on them. And there you have that one there, also in the geometric, small circles and squares. Uh, also very nice, sort of this like a goldish uh, coloration with a navy blue in the background. Also another really beautiful tie. And that has also a sister tie to it in another color, which is one of my favorites actually. The purple lilac and uh, black mixed in. Let me show you a little close up of that one. There you have that one there. I also have these small blue dots inside the circles, if you can see that pretty closely. And just to show you how these ties, you know, tie, I do these um, pseudo knots. You could do it just like this, doesn't have to be on a person. But just to give you an example of how nice of a knot that that tie ties. And that's a kind of knot that stays all day, especially in the woven silk. It stays nicely, gives that a nice little dimple right there that a lot of people try to achieve with their um, tie knots. So moving right along, we're going to go to a different category of tie that is not uh, geometric, and these are small silk prints. So these are very interesting because when you look at it, at first you say, hey, that's an interesting pattern. But you look really closely, you could see that those are small turtles. That's right, a navy blue background with these small pink magenta turtles all interconnected, creating this beautiful geometric patterns. This is a silk twill in a print. So we have a few of these. That's the turtle version. And you have turtles again with the orange. The orange and the blue and the purple. 
So you have that one there as well. Another beautiful coloration. I love all these colors. Of course, I, you know, I picked them all out. So what else, what else am I going to say, right? But um, I love all these colors. And I love the fact that, you know, when someone's wearing the tie, say like over here, you don't realize that, hey, those are turtles. No, but when someone gets a little close to you, you say, wait a second, that's very interesting. There are small little turtles on your tie. And that's right, those are turtles. And for those of you who love the ocean, who love the sea, who love the nautical theme, we have the swordfish. So we have the swordfish in three colors. This is the beautiful new blue with the swordfish and that little sort of uh, spritz of water around the swordfish uh, swimming there. The swordfish is in sort of like a tannish orange color. So that's one right there with the swordfish. And you have the uh, other colors in the swordfish with the navy and royal swordfish with the yellow background with sort of like the white spritz of water going on there. Beautiful with a white shirt. You can see it how it comes up on my white shirt there. I, I could probably even wear it with this suit. You know, these sort of prints you could really wear with any pattern. You know, I like putting different patterns together. You could see the circle and the plaid. This goes very nicely together, just like this. So you could do the same. There's the yellow with the blue swordfish. And of course, the last one, I could not resist the pink or the bubblegum pink. There you go, the bubblegum pink. And now, you know, in Italy, very popular is the denim shirt. You know, the lightweight, very thin denim shirt is very popular. Even with a necktie and a suit, they're wearing the denim shirt. And you could wear a tie like this, the bubblegum pink, with sort of that denim blue swordfish with the white spritz of water there. Nicely uh, done with a denim shirt or a white shirt or a sky blue or a royal blue, powder blue, even a pale gray would be nice with that. And of course, you could do things with little mini plaids with these sort of uh, ties with the little prints like that. Next up, we have the neat geometrics. So these we call the very neat geometrics, very small and neat. This is the silver gray, and it has a little royal blue square. There you go, in the neat geometrics. And these also are the heavier woven silk, so they tie a very, very nice uh, tie knot. And there's a sister color to that. My favorite color, of course, the purple. Can't resist the purple, always in neckwear. So you have the purple and the grayish silver. Beautiful tie that goes with almost any kind of suit. You could wear black and navy and charcoal and plaids and navy pinstripe. A lot of things you could do with this one with white shirts and different color shirts. Very easy uh, to get along with that tie there. So that's the purple in the small, neat geometric right there. And the next story we're going to move to is the stripe story. That's right. We have ties with interesting stripes. And I'll show those to you here. These are also woven silk. And you have different textures in the same tie. So here you have the stripe itself, which is the flat satin silk, but the stripe in between, the wider, broader stripe, that's the woven silk. So you have two textures in the same necktie. And again, these create a very nice knot. And of course, when you make a tie knot in a stripe tie, the stripes on the knot go the opposite way and the stripes on the body go the other way. So that's how it always is with the stripe tie. Very elegant, very nice. This coloration is sort of like a medium blue. You have sort of this lime green and a burgundy purple on the outside of the lime green. Another beautiful tie. I'll give you a little close-up shot of that one so you can see the color uh, more properly. And we'll put that one down and show you right away the sister tie to that, which is the yellow. Yellow, blue, and sort of like a Kelly green right there. Another beautiful tie. Very vibrant, uh, nice, vibrant yellow color like that. So those are the, uh, some with the stripe story. Now we have something interesting in the stripe story. We have two more, a little different. These ties look like, like a denim finish, but they're not denim. They're 100% silk. This is the blue with the gray stripe, a little wider, broader with the double stripe there. But if you can see the finish on the silk, it sort of has that denim -y looking finish, although it is not denim. So that's uh, that's the blue version of that. And that tie also comes, you know, my favorite, in the purple, which is also a beauty, just like that in the purple. You see the close-up there? I hope these close-ups are coming out okay. But there you have the close-up there in the purple. And I hope you could also see, you know, the texture, the finish on this tie, which is uh, very nice. You know, something nice for fall, because in the fall you have a lot of fabrics like wools and cashmere's, alpaca, camel hair, they all have these textures on them. And sometimes you don't want to have a tie that's completely flat when you're wearing something or a suit or a jacket that has a little texture. Like if you have a cashmere blazer or a wool blazer that you're going out with just a shirt, maybe even a shirt, a tie and a pair of jeans. Sometimes you want to wear a pair of boots and you can go out like that, you know, go out to a club or a bar, just get a little dressy sometimes. It's always nice to have that nice look with little textures. And a couple of more stripes here. Very elegant for suits, a little more classic in terms of uh, business wear. 
sort of like this mauve color with that uh, light blue stripe and a white stripe with pink in between. And the sister one to that, you have the blue and the yellow. You know, blue and yellow in business. A lot of people like to wear blue and yellow with blue shirts or white shirts all the time. Sort of, it's easy to match it up. You just, you know, have a few basic classic suits. You could throw this tie on with any of them and not worry that you're, you know, mismatching what you, what you have. So that's the stripe story. And the last and final story we're doing in uh, neckwear for fall. Of course, this is only the first part of the fall neckwear because it's still early. It's still August. And although people like to start to get into the darker colors, we're still doing some bright colors, mixing in some finishes and some slightly darker colors like those dark purples for the fall. But although when September comes, we'll be getting a larger bulk of the fall collection ties and I'll be doing a video about those as well. Now the solid story, that's right, solid color ties, still very popular, especially in the woven silks. So, you know, solid colors, if you have a very fancy plaid jacket and you don't want to put a pattern tie, you're a little afraid about is a check, you know, check tie or stripe tie or geometric pattern. What's going to go with a, uh, a heavy plaid looking jacket if you have one for fall? You could always do the solids. The solids are always very nice. And here we have quite a few colors. We have the sky blue in the solid twill silk, just like that. There's the sky blue. Uh, next up, we call this the steel blue. So you have that one, that's the steel blue, or somebody might call this uh, maybe periwinkle. Maybe that's a better color for that one. You have the periwinkle there. And you have also the classic silvery gray, which some people like to wear this also for formal wear. If you don't wanna wear a bow tie and you have a tuxedo or you're wearing a black suit to a formal event, you know, November, December, there's a lot of charity events, a lot of benefits that people go to, corporate events, and maybe you don't wanna wear a tuxedo or it's not necessary, you can wear a black suit white French cuff shirt, and you could do this silver gray silk, woven woven silk tie, something like that. And then the last one, which is one, one that's always my favorite, is the burgundy, very rich, beautiful rich color, the burgundy silk twill, just like that. And it's, a, it's just a beauty, and it makes a beautiful knot. It's the last one I'll show you, because that's the last one in the collection. And then we'll just discuss about how you can get some of these ties. You know, of course, since we're redesigning the website these will be all available there you go there's a beautiful knot you know just a pseudo knot not a real knot of course but pseudo knot you can see how that looks there and sorry for the messy desk but it's been busy so anyway just to tell you these ties will all be available right now on the current version of the website suitcafe.com they're all available right this moment they will transfer of course to the new website when it goes up live in september for the fall winter but we wanted to get these on right away because we just got them in you're the first people to see them nobody has seen them because Nobody has seen them. You're the first ones. I wanted to give it to my YouTube community to see the ties first. So please, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you're looking for any specific tie, please put it down in the comments. Maybe I could find you something that maybe I have coming in, or even if I don't have it, I can try and source it for you like I do for a lot of my customers. And of course, check out the website. We have beautiful new shoes and boots that are on there for fall and uh, lots of new suits and uh, sport coats coming as well. We're going to do some nice leather and beautiful alpaca scarves, reversible with alpaca on one side, wool on the other, and alpaca sweaters made in Peru because where are all the alpacas? They're all in Peru. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit that subscription button and uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I put up a new video. I'll be adding some new videos also uh, from my podcast. It's all been done before podcast. That's right. We have some interesting guests coming up this new season as well. So thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your summer and I'll see you all again when I'm back at it.